Michael and this video is about the identity of the Antichrist. Um, a lot of people out there are unsure who it is but I just want to um, make this video to make it clear who he is. Um, I'll just gather some information about him. Um, in um, the Bible it does speak about uh, Jesus saying I saw uh, Satan falling like lightning from heaven and uh, fair enough that uh, uh, Barack Hussein Obama happens to be when you translate his name is lightning from heaven was that Jesus giving us a sign who the Antichrist is uh, also more proof about that I've um, looked into uh, Obama's uh, roots um, and I'll let me show you Obama is a quarter Jewish from the house of David. He's got 7% um, African, 43% Arab, 25% Anglo-Saxon and 25% Jewish. And he's from the house of David. One of the um, signs of the Antichrist was that uh, the Antichrist must be from the tribe of Dan, Israeli tribe of Dan, and it says here, um, he uh, descends from um, the house of David, which is a major thing. And it's in the uh, also he speaks about here. That he's also uh, descended from many kings as well. I'll go in more into detail about that. I also said the Antichrist must be a Syrian, which is also I'll go into detail about that. And it must be a Muslim. Well. I think we answer that question. We'll also go into that. Um, so here is also more proof about Obama being the Antichrist. And uh, let me get to the next page. Um, I was looking across the internet. I found I came across Dr. Wills. He found the geology pointing to uh, Barack Hussein Obama, his lineage of. Um, his family. Uh, basically, his parents obviously are um, Stanley Ann Dunham, is his mum, and his dad is Barack Hussein Obama Sr. Um, of the Leo tribe. And it speaks about um, their lineage. And as I show you here, um, the geology of uh, Barack Hussein Obama Jr. Uh, stems from if you look back on his father's side, oh, well, I'll leave the link below. He comes from the Prophet Muhammad. He comes back from there. It all runs down. Start from Prophet Muhammad, right down to his Barak Hussein. Senior, I will leave the line of the links and everything below. And also, it shows also his descendants also are look back here, the geology Antiochus, um, and also King Circulus of Syria, so Syrian bloodline, and Antiochus. Who was um, Antiochus um, Epiphanes, who was the one, fair enough, who uh, fought against the Jews? Uh, you can read about that in the book of Maccabees. Uh, it seems like uh, history is repeating itself. Again, Obama is going against uh, the Jews by. Um, voting to split the land of Israel. So it's funny how the descendants are sort of paralleling here. So as you can see there, the geology descends from Antiochus uh, to Barack Brain Senior. Oh, what I'll do, I'll leave the link below. And it stems down from Antiochus. It goes through Antiochus Epiphes the fifth, right down to his parents and to Obama. Well, I'll do. I like I said, I'll leave the link below. So it just shows that uh, some of the, the, the signage of the Antichrist is he's got to be of a Syrian descent, which he 
says it is, because uh, he comes from Antiochus, uh, from Syria, uh, must be a Muslim, for his father's side, must be Jew, traced to the line of King David, well, I just showed that he was a uh, um, Jewish blood, um, and all this investigation was from uh, Dr. Wills, so I'll leave the link uh, below. Um, and like I said, Jesus gave us um, sort of like a hint of what the Antichrist was by saying, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. And funny enough, Barack Hussein Obama um, means lightning from heaven. Um, just looking over my notes, see if anything else I wrote down. Um, and also I just wanted to tell you about um, the Antichrist. Um, Obama, you might think, well, he's left the world scene now, so he can't be, surely can't be. Well, actually, in the Bible, it states in, in Revelation uh, chapter 13 that the Antichrist will hold power, then lose it, then gain it back again. Let me read that here. Um, Okay, family. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 1 onwards. And I saw a beast riding at, riding at, rising out of the sea, with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems in its horns and blasphemous names on its heads. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. And to it the dragon gave its power and its throne and great authority. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed. And the whole world earth marvelled as they followed the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, for he had given authority to the beast. Um, here, the mortal wound on the head is loss of power. So Obama, at the moment, is loss of power as he is no longer the president. But afterwards, he will regain power and come back on the world scene with uh, authority given to him by the dragon Satan. He will be back. So this Antichrist had power, lost it, and now is coming back into power very soon. Whether that is um, as the head of the United Nations, I don't know, but he will be coming back soon. Anyway, I hope this was informative, and I'll leave some links below so you can check the lineage of Obama. Thank you very much, and God bless. Goodbye.